folks. This is Rose from In Rose's Garden, and today we're going to work on a really fun pair of earrings using beads from my Wonderland kit from Softflex Company. Let's turn down and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So here are our beads we're going to use. I'm going to put this little key down at the very bottom of my earrings. There's our ear wire. Why do I have four ear wires? Ah, well, we'll put two of them aside. And then we're going to put this millefori here. I'm going to put this bead up on top. And then we're going to come down and around one side of our millefiori with some beads. And so they'll look like so. Go over there. These are a couple of extras also. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take some 20 gauge wire. There's some 20 gauge here. And we are going to form a loop here to hold the key. Go up through our millefori and our... Then we're going to... Um, excuse me. We're going to go up here through this bead and then hook onto our ear wire. Then as we do our wraps to bring the wire down where it should be, we're going to wrap around this bead, come back down here, do a few wraps here, come down here and do a few wraps here to hold these in place and that's where we're going to end it. So we'll need a relatively good sized piece of wire. I didn't measure it out. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to need so I am going to get out uh, at least, I'm thinking at least eight inches just to be on the safe side and oops there goes one of my beads and there's why we have extras because I'm a klutz and I throw my beads around. So we'll get eight inches of wire out For each one and we may not need that much I may be just overdoing what I need but I'd rather have too much hopefully we will have enough so again eight inches just right here and then we'll put our spool of wire away so now what we want to do first, of course, is make our loop for the bottom here. I'm going to put the one set aside so it's not in our way. And then we will hook our key on. So I'm going to get this wire as straight as I can. And I just do that by rubbing it between my fingers till it straightens. Now, if you don't like to do it with your fingers, you can use one of these um, wire straighteners. I know I have one like this. Just, if you have never used one, these are from Beetle On. You put your wire in like this and just go up and down. So, so it works more or less the same, but I use my fingers most of the time. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is make our loop at the bottom and get our key attached. So bend it, the 90 degree bend. Then I'm going to use my stepped bell making pliers with my smallest and bring it around, drop it down, bring her over, and straighten her up. Now. I didn't do my rounds right now because we're going to put our key on first. Come on, baby, go on. I didn't leave a gap. I usually leave a gap so that it can go on easier. Just do to do that, just do like you would um, when you open a jump ring. So then now that we've got that in there, hold our wire together 
and wrap a couple wraps. And then cut her off. And tuck her in. So there is our key attached. Okay, then we're going to put on our millifori. So it sits like so, but it's going to, we don't want that, we want to leave some room. So then the next one we're going to put on is our Now, normally we would do it right here, but we're not going to. We're going to bring it up even f a little further than that because we want to have room for our wraps. So, so we'll take this and then we'll come up here. And we're going to bend it over. And I bent it the wrong way because we're going to want to... This is where our ear wire will go in, so... We need to twist this over to the other side. Because we need it to go perpendicular. So, and if we don't have it quite right when we get it done, well, we'll just straighten it after, as we finish it. So, we come up and around and down, bring her around, and I'm knocking my green beads again. We don't want to lose them all. Bring her over here, straighten her up. Come on, let go. And now we want to put our ear wire on. Now, if this had a definite front and back, you'd want the ear wire to go feed into here backwards. This one does not because, well, I haven't decided which side the key should go on facing. So, and as, it, as the key is two-sided, it doesn't matter. Come on, you go on. There we go. Now we'll hold this right here so that we push the wire that we had pulled up back into place. Get the ear wire out of the way. And then we're going to wrap it a couple of wraps. I'm going to do this with my fingers since this is pretty malleable. Now we're going to bring this wire up, this bead up, come around it like so, now you can do this one of two ways, do you want it to be closer, um, or you know the wrap to be more towards the front, if so then pull it around so it's more towards the front. And frankly, I'm going to have to move these because, see, they're not going opposite sides to each other, and they need to. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, and then we're going to take this one, and you can do this with your pliers or your fingers, and you're going to twist. And now they're more or less going the proper direction. So now we push this bead up some more. We're going to do one or two wraps right here. One, two, now that we've got that on, we're going to take our, come on, you go all the way over there, I think I have this one a little crooked now, that's all right. Now we're going to take our green beads and we're going to put them up on here. So, I think it should take six, if I remember right, from when I was trying to figure out what I needed. It might only be five, but it might, I think it's six. Let's put the five on first and test. If we need the sixth one, we can put it on. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to bring it around the edge of this other bead. We need, definitely need six, might need seven. 
If we need seven, I have to find that one I dropped. <laughs> around the outer edge of this bead let's see if seven can go or if we're gonna have to stay with the six okay seven makes it bag out a bit so I think we're going to stay with the six because I think that's going to sit a little better. Maybe down here. All the way down, baby. Now we have to pull this wire so it runs around the base here. And that's why I'm trying to get this to stay pushed up because I want to have that little gap that's down there at the bottom. So I'm probably going to have to get hold of this with my pliers so I know more what I'm... So let's grab our pliers and get it right here. Now we'll pull this push this up and pull this and so it goes into that groove right there right there that's where we want you there we go her around and she's sliding around a little bit we'll have to tighten things up as we go but there we go now it's time to cut our excess wire off right here if we can get it to go the way we want it to here I usually don't double my wires like this, but I'm going to in this instance to make it look a little cleaner here down here at the base. We need to clean up, cut off the extra wire. I'm going to tuck this in some down here. we got it there we go so now we have to do the second one just the same way now you could have done this another way and that way would have been just to make the regular loop and then take a second piece of wire go through here and do the the little um, piece but I think it's more secure with the just the one piece so there's one earring and we'll have to make our second one now I still am not liking that bunch up down here at the bottom, but we'll worry about it. We'll worry about it later. So here we go. We're going to start our second one. Okay. 
first thing we want is our key. Put on the bottom. Now I find the hardest part of this is bringing those little green wires down and make sure that we have enough um, little green beads, I should say, enough room to bring those onto here. Over. Remember to leave a gap so you can get your key on. See, that went on much easier because I did remember to leave my gap. So, one, two, three. Cut the extra off. Hold this again while I tuck this. It works a little better that way. Okay, so now we'll get our. As you can see, I've got it a little crooked down here now, so I'm going to straighten that up. There we go. Put on our millifori. And then the purple. Now, like I said, we want to leave enough room here when we form our loop to leave some gap here. And we want to go, make sure you go the right direction like I didn't the last time. Okay, so right there. Over and around, up, and straightener. Now for our earring wire. Now because I want this key to face the opposite direction of the other one, which it was facing this way, we want this one to go this way. So we're going to feed this in backwards so that when it comes around, it's going facing that direction. Come on, baby, go snap into place. There we go. See how when we, I wrap that that way and it comes up and right there. So now we want to bring these together, wrap a couple of times, just probably just two. I think that's what we did on the other one. I can take a look to be positive, yes. Now we're going to bring our, our purple wire up here, or a purple bead, and we're just simply going to slide it into place and then bring our wire around it. And this one I'm gonna to have to get it straight out, then bring our purple bead up, hold it while we bring our wire around and wrap it twice right here. I think that's all we wrapped it up there. Yep. And now we'll bring it back over here so we can gather up our green beads. So we want to put our six green beads on here. Now I actually think I want the green beads now to go over this way so that our that it stays opposite to our buddies our the other side here. See? So And 
Now you can make them be exactly the same. I prefer that they're opposite so that they have uh, some definition of what they are doing here. Push this guy up, bring our beads over and around, and bring it down to here. Make sure our beads are staying up there where they belong. This looks like it's not going to be straight, but that's all right. We'll straighten the wires after we get the, the final piece done here. So we bring it around. Make sure we're good up there towards the top. And we've got this all the way over here. Get it, keep it as tight as you can because you need to go up and into that li one little groove that you've got left from your other wire. Now, see how we're looking here. So we've got this one. Okay. All right, there we go. So now, up there, where you're supposed to be, and tighten this baby up here. You are supposed to be down in that groove. There we go. extra off now we're gonna maneuver these wires a little bit so that they're more There's the one, and there's the second one. This one's popped up a little bit. We need to push it back down into place some. And there are our earrings. So here we go. Here are our key earrings. Now I think I would wear them this way with the green on the outside of my ear. So aren't those pretty? The second one co cooperated a lot better than the first one did. But that's frequently the way it goes. You get that memory of what you're doing with the with the second but I quite like them I think they turned out really nice I hope you liked them as well as I do but uh, yes there they are key earrings using our Wonderland bead kit from Softlex wire this has been Rose from in Rose's garden we'll see you later bye bye